Good afternoon, Portland Transportation Committee and Ms. Jennifer Looney. I'm Sam Grimm and I'm with the TriMet Research Board. And today we're going to be talking about some issues that we've been having with our public transportation in the Portland metropolitan area and the surrounding suburban areas. So we've had some issues in the metro area of Portland and a lot of that is because of a massive expansion of people, population increase, low income, and, uh, and that all that adds up with uh, issues with commuting times, computer proximity, uh, all our issues that we're having with our, with our community in Portland right now. So as we can see, this is a map of the Portland metro area, and we have a MAC system already in place that extends out to Hillsborough and out to Gresham and also southbound. However, there's some big gaps there that we could use some uh, assistance with public transportation. And also there's been massive building projects going on in the suburban areas, particularly west and south of Hillsborough, as, long as, as, as well as in Beaverton and south of Beaverton. So these areas, as we're, as we're building this population, we're gonna be compounding our issues as it comes to uh, traffic and commuter times. Uh, so now I'm gonna pass it off to Chantel, and she's gonna talk about our proposition. Thanks, Sam. So as Sam was saying, the population in the Portland metro area has increased immensely. And due to this increase, there has been an increase in traffic, uh, making commuting times significantly greater for those who are going to work, to school, to wherever they're going, but just traffic needs some, something has to be done so that the traffic can be tamed. And uh, for our propositions, as far as our understanding, we understand that there are cameras on the TriMet Max, but they are not visible to the riders. And so uh, we ask that whatever it may be, posters or commands on the TriMet to allow riders to know that they are being watched under surveillance. This would help immensely so that they feel like they are, um, they will be held accountable for whatever happens on that, on that bus. Um, another thing uh, that we would propose is to hire full-time security so that they can enforce the rules and safety uh, for the riders. And lastly, we propose to add stern turnstiles. Um, this will prevent riders who don't pay for tickets, riders who are just seeking shelter on the bus, and um, they may cause danger to the to the population of those who are riding the bus. Those who have the luxury of driving their own personal vehicles to work or to school or wherever it may be, they have the option to choose whether or not they want to ride the bus. But for those who don't have that luxury, they don't have the option. So they have to risk their safety in order to get to where they need to go. So next I will introduce Luis and he'll be talking about TriMet performance. All right, thank you, Chantel. So now, next, we'll be talking about TriMet performance. And on TriMet performance, Oregon has around 3.1 million licensed drivers. Many have noticed the long and unnecessary traffic jams while driving home at work. And uh, average commuter that usually takes 30 to 45 minutes is now taking about an hour and a half or two hours to get to work. Now, what are the options for people who need to commute to work or to school? There have been different solutions for this issue, but the majority of this population chooses to uh, ride the max for convenience, such as avoiding traffic. The small price per ticket for a two-hour uh, ride would be a $2.50 or a $5 uh, for an all-day pass. TriMet has been a great solution, but there are a couple of improvements that have been made in order to make sure that people are enjoying the ride, they're safe, and they want to get to work quickly. Upgrades include switching machines, uh, replace trackways, remove wooden ties, and improve the track bed. Also, repair and replace the brakes and pavement, uh, pavement next to the rails and replace the curb rails that connect Murison and Jam Hill the Street in uh, Southwest First Avenue. During January 2019, the five max lines averaged a total of 119,210 weekdays, 76,140 Saturdays, and 54,820 Sundays boardings in January. The total max ridership decreased 3.2% during the weekday peak, but increased 3.3% during the weekday of peak periods, resulting in a 1.0 increase in weekdays max ridership. TriMet has appreciated patience from the community with their working on making the rail safer and newer. 
As a commuter myself on my freshman year of college, I've noticed that amount of hard work that TriMet has done dedicated to providing the riders a safe and efficient commute. However, sometimes solutions are out of their hands to make the ride not safe or inefficient, such as homeless people, drunk people riding the max, or not enough security on the trains, etc. So, overall, we concluded that TriMet has done excellent work maintaining their services to the community, but unfortunately this is a cycle that might not end. By having to always stay up to date with technology and making sure that riders are happy and satisfied, but most importantly, being able to provide the service to save time and commute to commuters to get home or work and avoiding those long traffic jams in our beautiful Portland, Oregon. All right, so now we're gonna pass it on to Jose. He's gonna be talking about commuter, proximity, and revenue. Thank you, Leeds. I'll be talking about commuter, proximity, and revenue. Positive net migration is defined by greater amounts of people moving in rather than moving out. Portland State University reported in 2017 that migration accounted for as much as 88% of Oregon's population growth from 2016 to 2017. That's from a Fox 12 report. It is clear that there are issues due to increase in population, but how do we solve these issues? And another pain point that we, uh, we have here is for commuters is that they don't have access to the max. Commuter time affects everyone in those regions from students to workers, and this is all across the Portland metropolitan area. Again, there's an opportunity cost associated with commutes. Uh, one report that we read, which was titled An Analysis of Relationships Between Distance from Campus and GPA of Commuter student, uh, Students, says that students tend to fare better in school at the closer they commute. So why not improve the city's transit system to improve the lives of the people who live there? And as you can see, we don't have access to the people in the Northwest, which is like the St. John's area, and there's no max that goes straight into, uh, well, diagonally from Southeast to Clackamas, and these areas are very heavily populated. Okay, and the last report we have going, As of February 19, 2019, there's a new TriMet uh, monthly report that shows year over year, ridership has actually decreased by 0.5%. Operating costs per boarding have increased by 5.03. Passenger revenue has decreased by 4.18%. Again, weekly bus averages versus the max averages um, across all five max lines have a weekly total of 250,000. Um, versus the bus weekly totals of 355,000 total boardings. On the max, weekly boardings have increased by 0.5%, but on the bus line has actually decreased by 0.8% overall. One that needs to be improved upon so that in the future we can allocate funds possibly into an expansion. Uh, we, I do believe that we should invest more into the max line uh, via other methods. One way to increase the ridership and revenue is to increase TriMet security. So next I'll have Kelly talking about security uh, concerns. Thank you, Jose. Uh, since we were proposing security upgrades for TriMet, I thought we'd put out some statistics regarding safety and security. So this is from 2017 and it is detailing where TriMet related crimes occurred. And as you can see, 50% of them happen on the max, which is quite alarming. And reason for, I guess, reason for why we should make these security upgrades. And out of TriMet's entire security force, only 62 of them are actual transit police that have the authority to make arrests, which could probably result in why riders believe that there is not enough security of a security presence on TriMet. 50% of TriMet riders in 2017 believed that there was not enough of a security presence on TriMet. And on the TriMet website, it states that 
there are security cameras in every car, but these aren't noticeable to the human eye and therefore probably aren't doing much to actually prevent crime as they're supposed to. And so I'm going to pass it off to Janizi, who's going to actually talk about some security upgrades that we're looking to accomplish. Thank you, Kelly. I'm going to be talking about security upgrade, which is very beneficial to the max. To, to enhance the security upgrade for when taking the, the, the max, it would help for a smoother ride for both the riders and the driver to go to, 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 to a different destination. Some of the ways to improve security upgrade is by the tungsten install, um, onboard security guards and camera surveillance. First of all, I'll talk about this, the turn style installment. Installing the turn style will help prevent, will help prevent and also, and also um, prevent attacks and also fair, fair invaders from, from entering the, from entering the, 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 the train. And also, investing in the security of um, guards like increasing security officers like hiring more than 80 officers and also in addition having police around all the time or sometimes. Having camera, investing in new technology that can help detect crimes, crimes and also unusual behavior which can enable a lot of personnel, security personnel around the area to come to help with unusual behaviors around the train, the max and train and also expanding the coverage, having the camera be more high quality and also making sure the camera is on 24-7, 24 hours in a day instead of just on, on some of the times. And also making sure the camera is more visible for everyone to see so it can help with crime. But I don't think it's going to help reduce crime. In fact, I don't think it's going to help reduce crime as, as a whole, but it can help with lessening the crime. So now I'm going to pass along to Chantel, who's going to conclude the whole presentation. Thanks, Chimizi. So currently our TriMet budget is $710 million. Our proposal is to ask for $50 million more on top of that. This will allow us to add those turnstiles to the five top most populated max areas. And um, by doing this, we can monitor the revenue that's coming into TriMet. Um, we expect a, an increase in revenue if the safety is upgraded and if all these things that we've been talking about are upgraded just because people are going to have more confidence in riding the MAX. Um, this will also allow us to track crime rate on the MAX with the turnstiles because we can track who is riding the MAX and when with those security guards um, enforcing these rules. Um, so for or to conclude this, um, we asked for that five, 50 million increase in budget to add these um, improvements. So thank you for your time. We appreciate you taking the time to listen to this proposal, and we hope that you can encourage us to get this going.